Hello everybody, welcome back, Serious Tech here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can set up your uh, new Beta 65S DSMX version. I am going to be pairing this with my uh, Deviation Debo 70. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get it bound. Um, binding this was really easy for me. Um, all I needed to do was hold the bind button, which is located underneath your battery. Let me see if I can get this to come into focus here real quick. Sorry, guys. Alright. So you've got your bind button right there by your antenna. So you'll hold that button down, then you'll plug in your battery. So we'll go ahead and we'll go through that process real quick. Alright, so... We've got our TX on, we've uh, held our bind button down and powered it up. We'll go ahead and we'll go into our model menu. And then we're going to go down. Um, if you want, you can pause in these sections. Um, this is how I have my Devo set up currently. So I've got my model type heli, um, no PPM. I've got it set to DSM-2. And then, oops. And then you'll just simply hit bind and enter. Um, you'll power cycle the Beta 65S. And then you should be bound. At this point, you're going to want to plug it into Betaflight. And you want to make sure that you're seeing your inputs. Uh, the first thing that I noticed was that I had some inputs that were reversed. So I'll show you guys how I fixed that problem. So I'll go ahead and get this plugged in. My Devo back on. Alright, let's take a look here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Alright, so we've got some stick inputs, which is good. Now, for me, what was going on is my yaw and my roll was reversed and the easiest way for you to fix that is going to be to go into your um, CLI let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you guys can see this so you go into your CLI and the first thing you want to do is you want to type in RX range you'll notice here these are what I had to set my ranges to by default each of these are set to start at 1000 and end at 2000 so, um, without going into too much detail, basically with Serial, um, and I believe it's with the um, DSM protocol, some, sometimes these ranges are reversed when the transmission is being sent. So, for me, I had to change uh, RX range 0 and 2. Uh, from 2000 to 1000. Once I did that, my uh, my yaw and my roll was correct. So in order to make those changes, all you have to do is you type in RX range. You'll select what your uh, range channel is. So if we wanted to change zero, we would do zero. And then you would type in 2000 space 1000. You would hit enter and save and then that would update that rx range channel so that was the first thing that i had to do well that was one of the first problems that i had and that was the first um, solution that i found um, also huge thank you to uh, travis who goes by not fast enough he he helped me a lot with this uh, i got in this transmitter quite a while ago but my original intentions were to use it with uh, some of my toy grade quadcopters so i never actually got to get it get it going so once I set that up, I was doing a lot better, but I was still having some issues. So I went to, um, sorry, let me get reconnected. So I went into my receiver. I was noticing that if I were to zero out or looking at my midpoints or my stick centers, um, none of them were at 1500. So in order to fix that, because what was happening was, after I switched my channels, uh, my RX ranges, and I fixed my yaw and roll issue, 
the sensitivity was insane. Even the slightest, slightest stick movement. Like you can see here, I'm moving it very, very little. I would already just this much. See that on that roll? From 1500 to 1540 would be like here. Out to 1900. It would just go crazy. So what I needed to do was set my sub trims. So let me get you back to the transmitter so you guys can see that. So to set your sub trims, what you want to do is you'll go into your model menu. You'll go into, I believe it's, let me see, I think it's mixer. Yep. And then you're going to select, so for instance, in my case, I was having um, issues with my aileron. Oops. My elevator. So what I did is I went into aileron. And I set my sub trim. And you can control your sub trim on the Devo by using your right and left here. So I would move this until I would see my midpoints enter 1500. As soon as I got that set, this thing was flying awesome. No problems and everything was good. So it was no fault necessarily of the quadcopter. It was more so um, my lack of knowledge in the setup with this transmitter. So... Because I heard this is a fairly common issue with these, um, with DSMX and DSM2 protocol. So um, that's pretty much it for the transmitter. So now we can go and take a look at some other small changes that I made in beta flight to get this thing flying a little bit more to my liking. Now, um, everybody's a little bit different, but this is what I'm currently running as far as my PIDs. Um, I'm actually using um, stock PIDs, and the only thing I did... As you can see, as I upped my RC rate and my super rate, um, if we look at the, re we'll reset the values. By stock, they're all at, it's at 1.0 for your RC rate and super rate is 70. So what I've been doing is I've been upping this to 115. And then, and this is still a work in progress. Um, as far as for acrobatics, flips and rolls and everything, I'm um, probably going to be having to play with this a little bit more. I'm still pretty new to, to this side of uh, the tuning, so just kind of basically going through trial and error and doing my research when I can. Excuse me. <coughs> but, yep, this is how I've had... Oh, sorry about that. This is how I'm setting up my Beta 65S. Um, this is the DSM-X version. So if you guys have any questions or if you're looking for... Um, some more information regarding uh, beta flight configuration revolving around these uh, tiny whoops. Definitely feel free to ask. And uh, if you're just catching this video, take a look at the um, Beta 65S DSMX version playlist. I've got reviews on all the bits and pieces that make up that build. And then along with some flight footage so you guys can see it in action. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be all for today. Like I said, if you have any questions about the transmitter setup or beta flight setup or my current PIDs, definitely feel free to ask. And, uh, as always guys, fly safe and fly often.